welcome to our regular catch up with the CEO of Greyhound Racing Victoria, Adam Wallish. Adam, it's been a big uptake into social media and a successful one. Oh, it's been fantastic, Mark. You know, that since day one, you know, we've had an enormous take up on our YouTube channel, our Twitter and, uh, and Facebook. It's been enormous and it's a space we need to be in. It's where the new customers for Greyhound Racing are, whether they're punters or owners or uh, trainers. But uh, so far, so good. It's been fantastic. Let me throw some of those numbers at you that really back up this social media success. On Facebook, a reach of 36,000 with 1,700 likes. We've had 1,400 views from only a handful of videos so far. And here's the big one. Twitter growth is at around 20% every week. It's tremendous, isn't it? And that's where, that's where our new customers will come from. Whether they're uh, new into owning greyhounds or, or breeding greyhounds or training or attending a track or uh, simply being involved by having a punt. It's a space we have to be in, you know, the younger demographic is the demographic that we're after, that younger age group, that 18 plus, and everyone's Twitter mad and social mad, so uh, we're there and so far it's been picked up really well. Speaking about somebody who was there, you must be delighted with the Premier turning up at the Warrnambool Classic. He's been a great supporter of the sport. He has, yeah, and continues to be. Outstanding um, for us to have the Premier as the Racing Minister. Uh, he's, you know, one of his loves is racing and it's it's Fantastic for us that he kept that portfolio when he became Premier. He understands the economic benefit to the state of Victoria and certainly the social fabric that it also brings. So we couldn't be happier with Dennis uh, being the, uh, the racing minister and the Premier. And he had a fantastic time at, at Warrnambool last, uh, last week. And you must be pretty happy with the winner of the Warrnambool Classic, aptly named. Premier event, yeah, I think he, uh, I think he might have had an investment as well. So he's very, he was very happy. Speaking of a successful cup, how about the Sandown Cup? It was a huge night. Yeah, great to see so many people at a, at a racetrack. It was a perfect night. Uh, a little bit cold, but a great promotion. And, you know, it demonstrates the way that GRV and the clubs are working together at the moment. Our marketing department and, and Greg Miller at Sandown with a lot of initiatives coming out of that club and it was fantastic for us to throw our support behind it and hopefully there's many more to come. Eddie Maguire, he got involved and the money or the box was a huge success. And they gave away $10,000. First up, it was amazing, wasn't it? And, and just to see Eddie Maguire and the energy he has and the way he worked that room and contributed to the night all night was just fantastic. He, he worked hard and we got a lot of benefit out of that. And I don't think Greyhound Racing Victoria will ever have a day with more new owners because, of course, everybody on course is now a part owner of a Miata pup. It's a pretty good idea, wasn't it? Again, that came from Sandown and really fits with GRV and the wider industry strategy of, of getting more people involved in Greyhound Racing. And this particular initiative was about getting more owners involved. So they'll, they'll become an owner, they'll participate, they'll come along, they'll eat and they'll drink. They'll have a bet and they'll have a fantastic time. They'll see greyhound racing the way we do. Eddie's a member of the Triple M Hot Breakfast team and they've got involved with a greyhound as well. It's called Bunga Bunga and I think Mick Malloy might be involved. I've seen a bit on social media of the handing over and that's been very popular. I hope that the greyhound goes on to uh, be a real success. The northeastern region's been well looked after with a big injection of prize money. It has indeed, yes. Yeah, Wang did close in 2009 and whilst we're not going to open a new track at Wang, we're really supportive of additional prize money going into that region. So they will, we'll bring back the Matchmaker Classic, very popular at Wang, we'll, we'll have it now at Shepparton. We've injected an, about $180,000 in total prize money in addition to Shepparton. The Tier 3 monthly meeting will have an additional full provincial prize money. And we're running the Northern, uh, the Northern Rivers Cup as well. Oh, it's great news for people in that region. You know, all the money invested certainly isn't just going into prize money or getting new owners. There's also a big investment this month into the propriety of the sport to make sure that what we see on the track is deemed as fair and, as fair and reasonable. Yeah, very important from our perspective. I think um, drugs in sport, very topical, and animal welfare are our two big issues at the moment. Uh, we've got a great record. You know, only half, 0.05% of swabs we take return positive. But part of the board's charter is to conduct research. So we're going to invest $650,000 in research over the next five years. The first, the next 12 months, 125,000 of that is specifically going to be allocated to a program in conjunction with Racing Analytical Services and the Melbourne University, and we'll be looking at testosterone in male greyhounds. Adam, thank you so much for joining us today, and that just proves how much happens in a month in greyhound racing. Indeed it does. Thanks, Fanny. Thanks, mate. Thank you.